Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. So in this, we'll, before proceeding to today's topic, uh, we'll just have a quick recap on what is meant by temporal difference, right? So temporal difference, as I uh, just mentioned in the last video, it is the basic soul of an AI, that is artificial intelligence, right? So we'll just have a quick recap and post this level uh, like that, uh, this uh, video on the next video, we'll be seeing about the uh, something practical, how the machine works or how the agent reacts, right? So we'll just uh, start with the temporal difference, okay? So uh, usually we do have two types of searches. Suppose considered like uh, if my agent have only one go, then that is called deterministic search. You can see here. So deterministic search is nothing but if my agent want to move up, it will just move up. That is only one case. But Theoretically, it may uh, it may just suits, but practically it fails. So my agent have three goes here, moving up or in the side. So 80% of moving up, 10% of moving left, and 10% of moving right and falling into the pit. Right. So this, if we come to something like practical, this works out. Okay. So uh, this was the thing. If it is a deterministic search. Suppose my, uh, like as we said here, uh, my agent is going to move only at the top. So it will go like that. So if we calculate using Bellman equation, we'll have some values like this. Suppose if it is here, it will have only one go here, here, here. Here means here, 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 here. Right? So I have an only one go. Right? So, but if we just consider the non-deterministic search using the same Bellman equation, we just get a different values, right? So it will just start considering it. Okay, I just want to move from here means this, 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 and this. Okay, so if it is here, here it will move, it will move like this because the probability of jumping into the pit if we go here, it is quite high. So if it is, if it is here, it will just move here, 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 here. So what we are doing, we are giving every places for every move of the agent, we are giving some rewards. Okay, if it move, moves you more uh, moves, then it will get more rewards. Okay, so temporal difference, how we calculated is uh, the quality or the Q learning of an, uh, certain actions to the corresponding state is equal to the reward of that particular state plus uh, gamma times of the uh, value of the state, right? So, if you just see, if I am here in this table, so what else I should do? If I go up, I'll be having some value of, uh, through some action, I'll be going to that state, right? So I'll be having some learning, okay? Before it will be like Q of S of T. So when I move to that, what will happen? So I'll be having a reward for what I have moved plus alpha times of maximum value of action we just did to get the state corresponding to this Q learning part. Right? So, if you just see uh, temporal difference, it is just a difference between the after value and the before value. So, after value, what is that? Minus before value. So you can ask the something like uh, these two uh, are something equal, right? So it will get cancelled out. No, that comes the thing. So we have something like the reward plus maximum value of the state minus Q of previous state, previous state, the preceding state. Okay. So the equation we have seen, we have some additional reading. So we will move, move on to some practical example. So what I'm taking here is an, a flappy bird. So everyone knows about a flappy bird game, right? So a flappy bird will be here. Uh, it will be just uh, doing some, it will have gravity 
So when a pipe comes like that, we should uh, apply some velocity so that it will jump and it will go here. So next it will come here, right? So we tackle this game using artificial intelligence. So the famous game in current world is a PUBG and the PUBG you will be saying, hey, bot is coming, man. You'll say, right? So what the bot does is uh, if you just want to shoot a guy, you will take some 100 bullets in that a random 100, uh, two or three bullets hits the uh, opposition party and they, it will just he, it will hurt him, right? But what does the bot do? Bot will have a single shot and it will kill you, right? So it has that accurate value, right? So how does the bot get ready? In, the, in its first go, it is uh, doing like that? No, it won't do. So here we have an, another term called neural networks, which I am not going to deal now. For uh, understanding purpose, I'll just use that. In the next level, I'll be talking more about the neural networks. Okay. So we have certain inputs. I'll just move on to the next slide. Okay. So we have certain inputs. What is the input? So if I, my agent is here, what is the distance from the starting of the pipe? So starting of the pipe is x1. What is the distance at the ending of the pipe x2? So what is the length of the pipe x2 minus x1? The same thing at what height from the pipe is the currently my agent is there. So at max what height it can go. Okay, so that is the thing. So in a mean what height it will achieve. Right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six inputs here. Right. So I have six input. One, two, three, four, five, in, six input. Right. So if you take some graph, you will have some two values. Right. If it is a two D graph, one comma two, like uh, two comma one, like that. You have n number of points, n number of combinations you have. Right. So I have six values. Okay. Six values I have here. So I have n number of combinations. So if it is something like uh, y0000 zero, 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 zero means my position is something 00, zero means here, right? The same thing, uh, y1, uh, y2 is three, like that means it will have some position. For that velocity will be something different, like this will be there, no? So for that, if it will just, just move like that. First, if it is zero, it will go or hit. Okay, it will say it has some negative regard. Don't do that. It eliminates that possibility, okay? Until unless it goes like this, okay, we have a positive feedback, like we can move through this. So you just take that consideration. Then it moves to so next pipe, it will hit means, okay, take this, but next step, don't take that. Instead of that, take another thing. Okay, so I'll just move on. Okay, so I have a genetic algorithm with neural network. Okay, so I'll be giving some inputs here. So inputs for that inputs, I have certain combinations, set of combinations forms and another middle layer. From the middle layer, I'll be getting an another equivalent layer where I'll be getting the output. Okay, so I can just have something like this. So I, I'll be going with n number of things and I will be collecting uh, the feedbacks from them and whichever gets more for positive feedback, I'll allow them. I'll just show you some examples, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll just come to this again. So see, here you can see, uh, just let us, okay. okay, I have n number of ways. I have n number of probabilities balls, n number of combinations, six variable, I have six. Here x1, x2 will be y1, y2 will be different like this. I have a number of combination. When my combination goes, see, before my ally was 109 out of 200. Okay. When it starts hitting, see, only two out of this thing will survive because those only have positive feedback. So, okay, it will take like, okay, this is fine. Okay. Wait to cross this pipe, this two is correct. So, it will take that. So, next it will go then both also died. So what it does, okay, we should go in this two, but next we should find a thing. So next go, it will go. In generation one, it goes. So this is the one who passes the second also, second one also. So this will be noted. How come it passed first? How come it passed second? So it will go in this. It passed third two. It hits again, it will go. So it is now generation two. My, it's learning is somewhat higher. Now, it passes three. 
it causes four in four also that a combination died so in a uh, generation three now so it's keep on generating until analysis is gate and a proper way it was keep on generating see it gets a combination of things So I will move a little forward so that you can understand. See, after see after some after generation ten, I got some value. Something it's going perfect. Means a nine things it learned. After that it moves. Okay. See, it has some inputs for inputs. We are getting some output for the combinations. So I'm moving to the last so that you can see at last after some 100 200 iteration it will just see it's moves a perfect path right so this was the thing this was a flappy bird right so I'll go a little forward okay so I have I have a neural network algorithm which is a genetic algorithm so what I'll be doing is I'll be having a uh, n number of possible ways I have n number of uh, compositions so each one tries. So whichever passes gets a uh, feedback or just uh, get a reward. So that based on the reward, it gets eliminated. Because if it get hit by the wall, it is just eliminated. If it is something like it passes through, it gets accepted. Right? So we have some children, children uh, agents, elite agents. Well, how many alive? How many alive in this? Everything we have, right? How many active alive children, active alive thing is the elites? What is the thing between alive uh, yeah, children and elites? So elites are something but uh, if only one passes through that. If it are not saying like this, you, out of 10, only passes, only one passes through this, it will just divide into two or multiple things based on the first criteria. Suppose consider like X, Y, Z, everything is zero, that condition only passes this, okay? So it will take that first condition and this and second condition it will take a number of trees. Okay. So this is the en en ensemble bird. So this is that nothing but a combination of things, stuffs like uh, how the neural networks input and the output really works on. Okay. So I have just dealt about this. I'll just show off with another example out of here. Okay. So we have some car should be passed through a certain track. So we have uh, the neural networks here. So I'll be having some five inputs out of that. I'll be getting two outputs. See scattering just gets one thing. It will get hit here. So it will just learn in the first iteration. It gets hit. It just moves on to the next part, but again it hits it. So there it passes and in third it will just learn. This is fourth iteration. You just can see how the neural network changes. You can just carefully watch uh, how the green, green color between the things forming. Suppose consider like uh, the first moving is green 
uh, when it get hits the next following which follows that and it precedes that will become green because that is the most preferred way because it reaches more uh, way than the rest right so that will be considered as the better better go okay see so whichever leads the thing will be the better it goes faster and if you got skipped somewhere but something for goes up then that is the better right so it does like this so it will get a way finally after some 100 200 300 iteration it will just get the way next time onwards it won't do the same mistake You can see that it's passing, but it gets stuck here. So next time what it does, it does learn from that. So in that position up to that, it will take. Take that position. Just go, it tries to uh, do something else. Even that matters that in, the, in that also that position matters. So again, it takes the learning until it's move on moving. So it's keep on changing the combination so that anything can pass through it. Yeah, finally we got a thing. Okay, that has the more reward points. So it will be considered as the better way. So you will find n number of pluses and going moves around that. That is what is like, it is the prohibited way, something like that. So it will hit, don't want to move that. It will hit the wall, it will keep the condition at somehow. Okay. So I just uh, want to say, uh, this is the very basic things what I have seen in these three videos or these four videos. So this is, uh, we believe like we have given uh, something, uh, a basic understanding between what is meant by artificial intelligence, right? What is meant by artificial intelligence and how it works and what is it for, right? Uh, why artificial is preferred in, in nowadays, right? So hope uh, if you are more interested, we can just join in our level two program, okay? Thank you guys, thank you.